Time out for kids. Come on. Today's topic is, where is your focus? Can you say that with me? Where is your focus? Say that. Where is your focus? Okay. I want you to do something for me. And the people in the audience are welcome to do the same thing. I want you to close your eyes and make three wishes. Okay? Open your eyes. Who wants to share with me what they wish? Okay. You want a cat? Anybody else? Want to share their wish? Anyone else? I wish other people treat other people right. Right. How about somebody in the audience? Okay. What did you wish? World peace. All right. Great. So. Oh wow. Okay. All right. Okay. Remember, I said the topic was where is your focus? We think about focus. You know what focus is? Anyone? Yeah. Yeah. Focus is you pay attention. You can pay attention to your teacher. Very good. It's what you think about. It's what you concentrate on. Okay? Let me ask you this question. Have you ever got caught doing something you knew was wrong? Anybody? Oh, come on. I have. We all have. Okay? Have you ever felt like a knot in your stomach? Anybody? When you do something wrong? Yeah. Okay. Do you know what that is? Yo. You know what guilt is? Yeah. Okay. Guilt is a sad feeling you have when you do something that you know is wrong. Who knows the story about Adam and Eve? Come on. Adam and Eve. There you are. Tell us the story about Adam and Eve. What happened to them? The garden. Why? You listen to God. Okay? They disobey God. Okay? God had told them not to eat a fruit. Okay? And they did. And so they were put out of the garden. Okay. Adam and Eve sinned because they took their focus off God and took their focus on themselves. Their focus was not on the goodness of God or all the fruit tree in the garden could eat. Instead, they focused on the one forbidden tree. Are you focusing on things you don't have right now? Well, there may be something that you may not have, and you're focusing on it too much, and you go to the store, and what may happen? What? Anybody? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, you steal it, okay? Satan is very clever, and he makes evil things. Satan gets us to concentrate, focus on the temptation, instead of focusing on God. When tempted by Satan, remember, instead of giving in to the temptation, Remember all the good things that God has provided for you. What are some of the good things God has provided for you? Come on. He gives you what? Food? And what else? Food for you. Yes. What else? Clothing? What? Yeah. Yes. A family. Anybody else? Oranges. Yes. Oranges. Right. All right. If you give in to the temptation, what do you think you should do? What should you do? Do you know? Well, you know, Adam and Eve did something. They did two things that were wrong. You know what they did? They blame other people. And they hide themselves from God. Okay? When we do something wrong, if we give in to a temptation, we don't want to blame other people and we don't want to hide from God. Okay? The good news that we have is Jesus Christ. What did he do for us? Anybody. What did he do for us? He died for all of our sins. So if you commit a sin, do you know what a sin is? I mentioned this before, but do you know what a sin is? A sin is when you disobey God's rule. You break the rule. You break your rule. Your mom and dad says, don't do what? What might they say? Don't do. Somebody. Don't run in the house and you do that. You're sinning. Okay? Don't play ball in the house. Right. Don't play ball in the house. Okay? And if you do, then you... Anybody else? All right. So we need to run to God when we do something wrong. And first means we want to agree. If we agree with him and we admit that we're wrong, and we ask him to forgive us. You know, when Satan is trying to get you in, to do something wrong. Do you know when? Do you know when he's trying to get you to do something wrong? Oh, come on. What I said about that knot in your stomach. To get you to kick the ball in the house. Yeah. Even though your parents says not to play in the house. Right. Okay. Well, there are things you could do to protect yourself. What are some of the things you, you think you could do to protect yourself? Okay. All right. That's good. It's very good. You could pray. What else? Read your Bible. What else? What else? Anything else? Okay. You listen to your mom and dad. Okay. 
Of course, you pray. You ask God to help you. When you feel that knot in your stomach, you need to pay attention to it. And you need to avoid the thing that you shouldn't do. Okay? Then think of the, the things you might be struggling with. Whether it's healing, lying, not listening to your parents, not cleaning your room when, she's, when your parents tell you to do it. And ask God to help you to overcome it. First Thessalonians 5.22 says, Avoid every kind of evil. Every kind. Not some, but every time. We need to put our focus in God and not on what we don't have. God will never withhold good from us. Thank you.